guys so in this video um i'm gonna do like a quick getting ready video and this is also my collab video for miss monroe 2007 uh, we'll be doing some summer tutorials throughout the summer for you guys um so i'm gonna put the link to her channel in the bottom bar so be sure to check that out so um the first thing i'm gonna do is prime my eyes with this l'oreal decrease eyeshadow base Alright, so for my main color, I'm going to be using this Gis Giselle Cosmetics Pigment Stack in Renaissance. And I'm going to be using the third color from the bottom. And I'm going to use my MAC 238, I mean 239 brush for this. And just press it on my lid. And then just blend it up into the crease. Okay, and next I'm going to blend that color. The next thing I'm going to do is take my CoverGirl Single Eyeshadow in Brown Smolder. Looks like that. It's just a matte brown. Really good crease color for somebody um, with my skin tone. And I'm just going to take this on a um, crease brush from Sonya Kashuk. Looks like that. Now for my highlight color which is this Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow in T-Rose. It's just a matte color. And put that on the brow bone. I'm using Wet n Wild's uh, black liner and it's in number 886. And I'm going to set that with carbon from MAC, just any old matte black um, eyeshadow. And this, really, this is really effective for the summertime because you tend to sweat a lot, of course. And especially if you're somebody like me with oily eyelids, then by the end of the day, this is going to be gone. So this helps it last a lot, lot longer. I'm going to add my eyeliner. And this is in Caribbean Sea. Like that. It's a very soft eyeliner. I'm just going to line my lower waterline with this. I'm going to prime my eyes, which I should have done at the beginning, with my um, Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation Primer. <laughs> um, this helps your um, concealer to last a lot longer. And I find that with this concealer palette, seeing how it's hot, and this is an oil-based concealer that it will be gone by the end of the day but this helps it last a little bit longer I will be posting a review on this and no no one sent it to me I bought this palette with my own money but I will be doing this review for CarMax Addict um, here on YouTube so 
stay tuned for that and I can't wait to review it for you guys so the colors I'm going to be using are this yellow one first and yellow helps to cancel out um, purple or dark spots and I'm just taking it on a concealer brush and I pat it under my eyes and then with my finger I'm going to dot it just like that and then with the same brush I'm going to go in with these two colors right here and put that under my eye well actually the top color and the bottom color and I just mix them together and then I pat it and the last step well, next to last step would be to apply your mascara. And I'm going to apply um, Rimmel's Glamize Day to Night Mascara with the lengthening and the volumizing side. And I like to use the volumizing side. I'm going to post a review on this. I just bought this the other day. I really wanted it. And I caught it on sale for 50% off. So I've heard a lot of bad reviews on it. So I don't know. Just trying it out for myself to see what I think. And last, I'm going to take this Birth Beast Chapstick. And I should have did this when I primed my eyes as well. I'm sorry. And I'm going to take my lipstick in Sienna 055 from Rimmel. Looks like that. And just dab this on my lips in a pat in motion so that the color won't be too intense. And on top of that, using a lip brush I'm going to use my Revlon lip gloss in 030 toast to shine which I had to depot it because it was broken so and I really like this lip gloss so I'm going to take it off the cap using this lip brush You could do um, an extremely loud lip with this, but I prefer to stick to my neutrals. So, this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Miss Monroe 07 so that you can see her videos as well. And um, check out my Twitter, I'll have everything posted in the bottom bar. and. Oh yeah, one last thing. I forgot to tell you. Um, Also remember to set your concealer with a powder. Even though it may be waterproof or anything. Just still remember to do it just to make, like to double proof it. And I like to use this fan brush. This brush came with my kit for school. And I just brush it under my eyes. just like that and there you go you have your finished look and again thank you guys for watching bye